What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And my name is Charlotte, your host, and I am the Photoshop expert. And today we're gonna to be teaching you all about swatches. So I had a little bit of a request, uh, how to import assets like brushes, swatches, you know, different things into Photoshop. How do we get that in there? How do we change our colors, Charlotte? So today I'm gonna to go ahead and teach this beginner course on working with swatches. I mean, this could be an intermediate level. I mean, there could be some people that have used Photoshop and not really used the swatch palette in depth. So I really wanna go over that because if you're painting digitally or you're doing anything digitally with uh, Photoshop, then knowing all about the swatches is gonna be very useful. Okay, so let's get to it. So here, I'm going to be opening up a new swatch. I found some really cool swatches off of DeviantArt. They're just some skin tones. And I wanted to use a different resource so that way you guys can see how do you download a file and then bring it into uh, Photoshop. <laughs> so let's get to it. So I'm just gonna minimize my screen by clicking the little small minus sign here that says minimize. And as you can see, I've already downloaded these lovely swatch skins, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it again so you can see. So how we're gonna open this file is we're going to right click with our mouse. Okay, there's two buttons on your mouse, a left one and a right one, so you're going to click on the right one and click Extract to Swatch a Skin Tone, whatever the name of the file is. Now, if you don't have WinRAR, which is not a free product, by the way. You can always get 7-Zip, or there is a few of them on the web that are absolutely free. So you, you just might want to Google free software to unzip your files. Um, I do know that Microsoft comes with a default, but I just prefer using WinRAR. So, um, yeah. So um, once you have it extracted, there'll be a little folder here, and you're just going to double-click to open it, and then... You're going to open this little folder and then we're going to double click here. Now I'm going to make these skin, skin, skin swatches, these skin swatches available for free. I'm going to provide a link down below so you'll have access to them. So now that we have the skin swatches, they're going to appear in your color swatches palette. Now if you don't have this palette open, you're going to go to window and then swatches and you'll know it's open because the check marks here okay so um, now that we have all of these colors here um, I'm going to teach you how to create a new swatch but we want first we want to add an existing swatch to the color palette now you might see a lot of these swatches that are just lining up here Okay, so in order to get your swatches down here, there's a little trick and I'm gonna show it to you. So first what we're gonna do is we're going to create a new layer by clicking the little plus sign here. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new color from these colors so that way we can create a new swatch. So first I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to just select some of these colors. I'm going to paint over Van Gogh. I know that's sad. Oh my gosh, right? So we're painting. And to select a new color, you're just going to just select the swatch. Remember, you got to select it to affect it. And then um, just keep going down. And then I'm just going to get a little bit of this creamy color here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something really fun. We're gonna take the mixer brush tool and we're gonna mix these together so we can create a new color. How fun is that? Yeah. <laughs> and um, then we're going to take that color and then put it in our little swatch palette. So we're, we're just magicians over here. <laughs> so I have this brush and I'm mixing it. <clears throat> just mixing it out here and then you could see we're creating a new color from this mixer now the settings to get your mixer brush like this I chose a wet light heavy mix and then you can just bump up the mix to about 27% 
And this controls how your, your colors mix together. So that's a little bit too much, so we can bump that down. You can change the flow, you can change the load, um, the wetness of the brush. It's basically like traditional medium. So now we have this like all freaking mixed up. You can check pressure sensitive too, but I'm right now I'm using the mouse, so we're, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click back on your swatches skin here. Now you can rename this group and <clears throat> it'll have a dialogue pop up and I'm just gonna put magic skin. I'm gonna change it to magic skin so you can see how we can rename these swatches. And so now it's named magic skin. <laughs> and then you can add a new swatch preset to this group. Now you want to make sure that add to my current library is not checked because if you click here and say add to my current library it's going to go up here. It's not going to go in your magic skin spot. Okay. All right. So with that being said, so now we're going to go back to our color picker and we're just going to sample one of these new colors and then um, go to new watch preset and um, press OK. And then now it will add to your magic skin library and you just keep sampling. Um, just keep doing that. Make sure you select it to affect it and then go back here, get your color picker tool, go to new swatch preset and that is how you add the new swatch preset. Okay, so what if you wanted to add a whole bunch of colors at once to your swatch palette? Okay, so let's delete this layer by dragging it in here and I'm gonna create a new layer just for fuck's sake and then we're going to create I'm going to create a new, um, no, I don't want to do that. I want to create a new folder thingy. So I'm going to go up here and then I'm going to put new swatch group and then I'm going to name this Van Go, or maybe I should just name it Blossoms. Yeah, we'll just name it Blossoms. Okay. So now this is a little tricky. So if you go over to, I'm just going to pull this over here so you can see everything. All right. So if you get your tools palette out and then you're going to start a swatch, let me, let me just fix this palette here. I'm going to close this off because we don't need any of this stuff. And I'm just going to put this here so you can see. So what we're going to do. <clears throat> is you have to select this to affect it and then instead of going to the color picker this time you're gonna go here where you see these two colors here where the foreground color is you're gonna pick that and then you're going to add to swatch library okay and you do not want to check add to my current library and then you're gonna press OK and this is going to just like let you kind of like keep it going you know what I mean and just press OK and then you just sample and that way you can sample um, and just keep pressing OK as long as you want to sample and this is creating a whole string of colors from this selection so you're just gonna go in and just select whatever colors that you want and just keep pressing OK all right, and that's how you add multiple colors at once to your swatch library. And this is really fun. So if you're like doing a painting, like if you wanted to do a Van Gogh painting and you needed the colors extracted from here so you could paint easily on your palette, um, this is a great way to extract all the colors from whatever image that you find on the internet. 
Um, you can also do this with some image processors that do this automatically. I know that um, if you haven't checked out Adobe Cooler, um, they do that, but it only lets you like extract so many colors at once. So I actually prefer to do this myself um, so I can get the exact colors that I want. And then you just click add to swatch library. And then, so I mean, and then when you're done, you just press OK. And then um, if you want to go ahead and save this out, you can go here. You're just going to what I know I do things so fast. You're going to shift click and then shift click here. So you have it all selected. And then you're going to export your selected swatches. OK, and then I'm just going to name these. Um, Van Gogh because I probably won't even know what blossom means because I'm ADD, ADHD, whatever. Yes. <laughs> Think of me like I'm freaking Dory from Nemo. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so that's how you save the swatches out. And you can pull in legacy swatches from here. So let me deselect this. So legacy swatches are all the swatches that Photoshop has for you. So if you pull those in, it has all these weird colors already made for you. The Pantone colors, the, the paint color swatches, you have um, pastels and neons uncoated, lots of cool stuff, you know, photo filter colors. I mean, you can play with all these colors. They're pretty amazing. Um, a lot of fun stuff. You can rename groups, delete groups. Um, you can, this will restore your default swatches. Um, you can import, export. Um, you can do a lot with swatches. So creating your color palettes and getting your colors right is essential to, you know, digital painting or, you know, even when you're working with photographs or anything like that. So it's definitely important to get your colors right with the swatches palette. So if you want to delete these, you just go in here and shift click and then you can and then right click and then just delete the group. And then it will delete all of those off of here. OK, so um, you can also change the size and swatches. So if you go here, you can um, choose a tiny thumbnail, which will make them really itty bitty. I don't know why you would want to do that. Or you can make them a large thumbnail or you can make them a large list. So you can see the colors out like that. Um, I personally use two screens, so I like to have them large so I can sample and I usually have these on my other screen so I can view my full picture. If you're doing digital painting, I really, really, um, you know, it's so much easier to work with two screens, you know? So, um, yeah. And so this is basically how you work with swatches. Now, Photoshop 2020 came out with a new feature. In Photoshop 2020, they just released the new gradient tool. Um, before, you could only access your gradients by the layers palette by hitting this button and doing gradient overlay. It was a little bit difficult. You could also ask access the gradients from here, but it was also difficult. So if you go up here to window gradients, it's the palette is like the swatches um, basically. So in our next video, we're gonna cover how to use the gradient and the new gradient tool. And I'm gonna teach you a really cool trick. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you really enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and a, a like. And um, thank you so much uh, for being a part of my community. I uh, really appreciate it. We've had um, many subscribers this month, and um, kudos to you guys. So thank you so much, and um, until next time.